Hey, hey, my peaches. Welcome back underneath the peach tree. I'm Peach, and this is Black Girl Entrepreneur, a place where entrepreneurs and inventors can relate, learn, and grow while planting the seeds of success to reap the lives they've always dreamed of. So, if you've been thinking about starting your own business and you're like, I have no money to start anything, I don't even have enough money to go to the corner store and get me some hot Cheetos, I got one thing that saved my business startup journey because I was once in your position. I I'm kind of still in your position because the sister is broke, but I digress. I had no money to start my business and I didn't know how I was even going to start. And when you're starting your business, it everybody makes you feel like you need thousands and thousands of dollars to start. You no, know, you don't. You don't need a thousand dollars. You don't even need $800. You just need a few dollars to just start. This quick tip that I'm going to tell you is going to get you enough money to get you started right away. What is that secret that I'm talking about, you may ask? Baby Jordans! These things sell like hotcakes on the internet. I sold my son's old Baby Jordans for about $25 to $30 a pop, depending on how much they cost me originally. So I think originally they cost like, I don't know, like 60, 50 some dollars, but when they're a baby, they're not walking on the ground. The, sh the shoes are completely fine. They're basically brand new. And you know, babies grow so fast that they grow out of them quickly. So even this shoe here, this shoe is a 4C. And as you can see, the bottom is barely even used. Even if the bottom is used, like some shoes I did have that he would run around in when he was a baby learning how to walk, of course, I would just take a toothbrush, a little soap, a little soap and bleach, scrub it, and it's good as new. People love these things because nobody wants to pay $60 for baby Jordans, except for us, clearly. Uh, but anyways, uh, but if you can get them for half the price and they're still brand new, who's not going to want to buy them? I know for a fact because I sold like five pairs. So I was able to make... I think it was like maybe around like three, two fifty or three hundred dollars just off of reselling my son's baby Jordans because he did have a lot of baby Jordans. And even if you don't have baby Jordans, just sell whatever baby shoes that you have. People love buying used baby shoes when they're not really used because they're babies. So that's just one way that you can get quick money to start your business. And when I say starting your business, I don't mean like paying for employees or paying for a year's worth of inventory. No, this is money that you can use to pay for your uh, LLC or your sole proprietorship, whatever you plan on labeling your business as. This is money that you could use to get somebody to help you start your website, build your website. This is money that you could use to do a little bit of advertising, like maybe you need flyers started or anything, anything small like that. But um, don't think you need thousands of dollars to start your business because you don't. And I know that for a fact because I did that with my business. Yes, when you get further along in your business, you will need more money. But to start, you really only need a few hundred dollars just to get you up and running so that you can start working behind the scenes. So for instance, with me, I didn't have any money when I wanted to start my headscarf business. But I knew all I really needed was a few materials to just you so I can kind of design my prototype so I could test it and that really only costed me a few hundred dollars which I was able to do so um try to find whatever you can around your house to sell so that you can get a little bit of money to put towards your business it doesn't have to be baby Jordans. it doesn't even have to be shoes maybe you have shoes that you barely even wore maybe you have clothes that still have tags on them or you just really have to get creative when you're trying to get money for your own business Offer up, let go, apps like that are fantastic for people buying used things. I use that website all the time. In fact, when I had my son, I got most of his baby things off of there. Uh, so dig in your closet, see what you can find and put it up there. Make sure you take a good clear picture of it. Make sure you describe accurately what it is. Make sure you're putting the size of whatever it is, if it's clothing or any kind of shoes or anything like that. And, um, you know, just meet up with people. Make sure you're meeting in a safe place, meet in a public place. Don't be trying to meet in back alleys or going into people's houses, but that's really all it takes. So 
start digging in your closet see what you can find because I know you have some stuff in your house that you ain't been using in the past eight years that you can sell and get some money to start up your business so get to it Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Good luck on your entrepreneurial journeys. As always, if you guys want to talk, if you have a question, or if you just want to say hi, hit me up in my Instagram, at SledgeScarves, or you can email me at SledgeScarves at gmail.com, because uh, y'all been hitting me up like crazy, and I am loving it, because I'm making so many new friends. So, yeah, you can hit me up. You can DM me. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.